what volume of ethanol must be poured into a graduate cylinder to obtain 30.3 grams of ethanol? It has a density of 0.789 grams per centimeters cubed. So right now we're giving density, okay? So we have, so it says 30.3 grams of ethanol and density of 0 0.789 grams per centimeter cubed, okay? And we're trying to use this to be able to find the specifically the, um, oh, that's a tricky one. We were given the mass and then we were given the grams per centimeter cubed. So then for this one, we almost have to assume that centimeters cubed can be transferred to one mil. Um, we might have to make that assumption. But let's see how we can do this. So first we have, as they show there, density is equal to mass over volume, okay? Which is what's given here. And we're given the mass. So if we arrange it, we actually have to find volume if the volume is equal to mass over density, just as we rearranged it. So we have volume is equal to 30.3 grams over, well, yeah, over 0 0.789 grams, so these two cancel out, per centimeter, which allows it to move up here. The centimeters cubed moves to the numerator because it's being divided in the denominator. So that's why it shifts up there. And that'll be our only unit. So in regards to that now, we have 30.3 divided by 0.789. So that'll be 38.4. If we're gonna round the same way, centimeter cubed for the volume. Now, if the assumption was, which is key, assume one mil is equal to 30, whoops, one mil is equal to one centimeter cubed, we can then say our answer is 38.4 mil. Yes, one mil is equal to one centimeter cubed. Although, or is it one mil is equal to one milliliter cubed? Pretty sure that would be the conversion there. I may be wrong, but that's what I would do there. Let's see our units of conversion to double check. Okay, one liter, okay, is equal to 0 0.01 liters or a thousand centimeters cubed. So one millimeter is equal to one centimeter cubed, perfect. And now let's see how we did then, based on this assumption. So Zach, they make the same assumption here, and they're able to say, yep, 38.4 mils. So 38.4 mils of ethanol is required to obtain 30.3 grams of ethanol based on the density given, and we're able to rearrange the formula to where we're looking for volume now, okay? So that being said, this is correct. And now question number 11. <laughs>